What's going on everyone? It's Luan. I'm here to help you guys buy your first guitar and get into playing some music and having a bit of fun off the bat. Now, uh, we have a full course on this on my online school. It's free if you want to jump in. Link's in the description. But right now, here's a quick crash course on how we can do this and how we can get you guys absolutely slaying and playing all the music of your dreams. Now, the number one rule when buying a guitar, number one rule, you need to buy the guitar that will make you not quit. That is the number one rule. I don't care what anyone ever tells you, like you don't need to have like the fancy guitar or the cheapest guitar, or whatever. It is buy the guitar that you like that will make you not quit, which is within whatever is within your means. And that's the one that you need to get. Now, set that as your number one goal when you're going to purchase a guitar. So um, anything, any instrument, just whatever will make you not quit because you don't want to buy a guitar that someone told you, oh, that's a good guitar to buy and you don't really like it. And then you lose, lose vibes with it and you don't want to pick it up. And then, you know, you just stop playing and then, you know, you end up selling it. And I, I see it happen all the time with students, like get the one that you can afford that you like the most. So find whatever price range it is and then get the one that you like. So that's the rule. And now we're going to go into all the steps and always remember that that rule is the most important thing. What will make you not quit and enjoy the guitar the most. Now, the very first step is figuring out what guitar should I buy? Now we have acoustic guitars and we have electric guitars. Now, when you purchase acoustic guitars, you've either got a nylon string or a steel string. Uh, steel strings, pop songs, they sound great. Country music, they all have a, a lot of them have uh, steel strings and stuff like that. Nylon strings, typically classical, Spanish, all that cool, cool cool fun that's what that will happen on the acoustic front now uh for a beginner who definitely wants to just play the guitar and you don't have any genre preferences i would get a an acoustic guitar and personally i favor three quarter steel string guitars like this one this mini maiden um mainly because they're just so easy to play and you can move them everywhere and you can have a lot of fun every single student and person that i have taught has played this thing and a lot of them just buy one of these. Not this particular guitar, but they buy different versions, cheaper ones, because um, this one's a bit more higher end. Even this one's not the highest end, but it's still pretty expensive. Now, the difference between a three quarter size and a full size is going to be the fullness of the sound that comes out when you're strumming it. And most of the time you will notice the difference, but very slightly, because you're not that good yet. So. Right now, you're a beginner. You don't really know what you want. And um, you don't know till you play. And the more you play, you'll get more context over what you enjoy. And then you can spend more money on a really nice full body guitar or um, things like that. But typically, I'd recommend a three-quarter size guitar. Very easy to play. Necks are super forgiving. And they're just really, really fun. And then you can give them to your kids or you can friends, whatever. Sell them. They're really easy to, to pass on. They're great. Now... If you are someone who is inspired by Ed Sheeran uh, when it comes to an acoustic guitar, you are going to have to get a pickup. And the pickup's going to allow you to, to put a guitar lead into your, your guitar and then plug it into a loop pedal. And then that loop pedal is going to be accessible to you. If you do not have a pickup on your acoustic guitar, you are effectively in trouble and you will not be able to loop and you will be very sad. So if you're intending to be like, hey, I want to get an acoustic guitar, I want to start playing, and then I want to loop, definitely invest in something with a pickup. You do not want to miss out. So remember, pick up a form of engineering that is going to allow the signal of the acoustic guitar to go into here, to go into a guitar lead and into your pedal. And that's what that does. Now, the electric guitar front, this bad boy up here, you have plenty of different kinds of electric guitars. Now, picking the electric guitar that you love is a super, super um, uh, subjective scenario. There's no objectively great, like the, there's no best electric guitar. You just get the guitar that you like the sound of the most and you like the look of the most. My first favorite electric guitar was Les Paul. I loved Slash at the time. My second favorite guitar is a Stratocaster because I love John Mayer. And then my third favorite electric guitar is a... Telecaster, that's that I got that because I love country music and all the cool country like Brad Paisley and stuff have it. And that's why I got those things. The only thing that technical thing that you'll have to remember 
is you have single coils, which are these thin pickups here. And then with the bigger guitars, they have humbuckers and they're like, there's two, two of these together and they have like really fat sound. You might see them with like covered by a metal plate. So they're big ones. So just say the guy at the guitar store, um, you know, single, ask him if it's single coil or humbucker, they'll let you know. Or if you, if you can't see it, don't be afraid to look like an idiot. It's totally fine. Um, it's better that you ask the question and look like an idiot and learn than um, don't ask the question and don't get what you want and then spend the money and get mad. Now, the difference between single coil and humbucker is one is a bigger sound. Sorry, I'm pausing because there's like a lot of rain. Oh my God. I'm trying to record this video and I'm like, I'm feeling fire right now, but I guess it's, it's going to be what it's going to be with this rain. I don't want to re-record it. I'm loving this shit. Anyway, it is the unhinged, unedited Luan. Here you go. Sorry, we get distracted. Anyway, now it's calming down. So we've got single coil and humbuckers. Now single coils, super chill, thin sounding. Humbuckers, big, fat, rock and roll. Um, so just think about it like that. You know, your humbuckers have like this big sound and they have like this really rich, like warm tone. And then when you plug in crank distortion, they can get really, really savage. And then um, your single coils are, um, they're like more funkier, really like, they got like this edginess to them, really, really funky, groovy. You can get like these really cool blues tones and shit out of them. They're, they're great. I love them. That's like my favorite is single coils. But when I was younger, I loved humbuckers. I just like, I was really into like Eddie Van Halen at that time. And so just humbuckers were like, Phew. you would, you just wanted that fat, like thick distortion. And that's what a humbucker will do. So basically your first step is figure out what guitar type you want. Now, the next step is once you figure out the guitar type that you want, you need to get accessories for it. So you need to get a capo. It's one of these little things over here. Capo, bam. That's going to allow you to transpose on the guitar, which means we're going to be able to move um, open chords that you learn. You're going to be able to move them all along the fretboard and you will be able to learn a lot of songs without having to know a lot of theory and that without having to learn bar chords and things that will hurt your hands. So that's really, really cool. Now, the next thing you want is a guitar stand, a thing to put your guitar on. The reason why you want a guitar stand is you want to make sure that you put your guitar in a place that you can practice all the time. So you want to tie your guitar practice. I would always recommend my students about five minutes a day because um, it's the consistency each day that your hands will get stronger and stronger and they'll be like, then they will start to fire off and then you might have days where you just do like a big session. Now, for that, you definitely want to get a guitar stand, put it near something that you're doing like if it, if you, you know, you go have a shower in the morning and then you go to get changed, put it next to your closet and then pick up the guitar and then do five minutes of practice. That's what I would recommend. It's so easy. The ultimate hack, just pick a thing that you do every day and then put your guitar next to it. Um, I mean, if you want to do it on the toilet, do it on the toilet. You know, that, that works too. Whatever gets you the job done, you can get it done. Um, and so the guitar stand is the next thing you're going to get. Now you're also going to get guitar picks. So we've got these things over here, guitar picks. You don't need to be super crazy about guitar picks. I use 1.1 1. Uh, 1 millimeter ones, but uh, that means I know what I'm doing. So I can create this, the, the thicker the pick, the more unforgiving it is towards your right hand technique. So like your strumming hand. Um, if you have a thick pick, you're always going to sound loud um, if you don't know how to control your right hand but it also gives you a really big dynamic range. So I recommend for beginners, get anything that's like 0.6 uh, to 0.75, something like that. Anything in that range, 0.6, you'll see them in the guitar store. They're, they're thinner and they will allow you to strum through, but they won't like punish the strumming because you, know, you strum too hard. You know, you, and they'll give you the chance to build up some control because they're not so flimsy that they just like, they're like paper. So we don't want that. Um, and then the final thing that you're gonna do within this step of accessories is you need to get light gauge strings. So when you go to the guitar store, um, you can ask them, hey, what strings do they have on this guitar that you might be buying? And typically on electric, they will have tens on them. Now, what that means is 
the lower the number means the thinner the string, the higher the number, the thicker the string, right? So right now, the string that I have on this electric guitar is a 10. And then I think the, the lowest string here is a 52, I believe, or, or 50 or something. But what you want to do is you want to get really light strings. They might not sound thick and like amazing because the, the thinner the string, the less presence that that string's going to have when, you, when you're playing it. But you're a beginner. That doesn't matter. Your goal is, again, don't quit guitar. And if the string is too hard and it hurts your hands, then that's not going to make you win. That, and that is like 90% of the time why people quit. Like, it's too hard, too hard, too hard. That's why I hear all the time. It's too hard, too hard. My hands are sore. And like, we want to eliminate that. At any point in time, you can always get thicker strings and do better. And so when you get the thin strings, I recommend for an electric, you drop down to nines, which is like the lowest I would ever go on an electric. And then on acoustic, I would drop down to 11s. Um, you can drop down to 10s if it's really painful, but I use 11s on my acoustic and I, I love it. Um, uh, but you can drop down to 10s if you want on your acoustic as well, if you, if you really want to. Uh, but that, that's up to you. And when you do get those strings done, this is like the paramount, most important expense that you will ever make at, outside of just purchasing your guitar. You need to take your guitar to a guitar tech, a professional guitar technician, ask your guitar store, ask anyone locally online that's a musician, find a Facebook group, find whoever is, or Google it, whoever it is in your local area, and say, I want a professional setup. What they're going to do is they're going to take these new light strings that you have. They're going to restring your guitar and they're going to fix this thing that we call the action, which is the distance, the distance of the strings to the fretboard of the guitar. And the closer you're going to say, I want a low action. And what they're going to do is they're going to bring the strings very close to the fretboard. And that's going to allow you to very easily touch the strings and immediately be able to play correctly. So that's what you want to do. Number one thing when it comes to like, you know, the expense after the guitar is get that done. You do not want to be playing a guitar that has not been professionally set up. Um, as much as you're like, oh no, this is okay. It's like, just do it. Like you do not know. A professional setup is more than, like it's better to do that for your guitar than to buy a $5,000 guitar that's not professionally set up. Honest to God, I've had students that have gone and they've taken their $50 guitar. They've got like these $2,000 like amazing, great acoustic guitars. Then they get this $50 guitar that they think is a piece of shit. And then they will go to a guitar tech. They will get that set up professionally so they can leave it somewhere like in their office or whatever so they could practice. And they can't put that down. I remember the student. He was like, I have to get my, my really good guitar set up because I like playing my $50 guitar more than my, you know, $2,000 Maiden Messiah or whatever it was he was playing. I was like, yeah, that's why you get it done because these guys know what they're doing. They know how to make it easy for you to play and you will absolutely be slaying. So step two, get the right accessories and get your guitar set up and that is the big win. Now, our final step is purchasing the guitar and what you're going to do when you purchase the guitar. So when you purchase the guitar, you are going to test the guitar. So typically you've got gloss and you've got matte finishes. Um, so feel the neck of the guitar, basically make a claw with your hand and then, you know, stroke through the guitar. No weirdness there. Just feel what the difference is on your thumb and see if you like the gloss finish. See if you like the matte finish. See if you like how much space there is on the guitar. You can get that feeling right away. You don't have to be a professional. You, you can be a beginner and you can never play a guitar and be like, oh, I can see the difference. Play a couple of guitars. You don't have to play them. Just like put your hand around the neck and be like, oh. I can see the difference and you'll see everyone's hands different. I've got a smaller hand, so I favor thinner necks. Thinner necks feel really nice to me. Even though that this, this PRS is such a thick neck for me that I'm like, it just changes my playing style a little bit, um, which is like something that's a bit annoying, but I still love it. You know, it just sounds great. So your third step is when you get to the guitar store, you figured out all these things, you got your accessories, you're like, okay, well, this is the guitar I want to buy. You've Put your hands around the neck, see if you really like it, and then get the one that feels the nicest that you like the look of. 100%.
If it's a Hello Kitty guitar, get the Hello Kitty guitar. If you really want the Hello Kitty guitar, do it because you will get a professional guy to set it up and it will still feel great. And so just get the one that you like the most, the one that you'll pick up. Now, when you go to make this transaction and you're like, hey, I've decided what I'm gonna do. There's only two ways you're gonna buy a guitar. You're either gonna buy it at a guitar store, or you're gonna buy it online, um, or third way, you buy it secondhand from someone on Marketplace, uh, which is either done through an online transaction or you buy cash from them. So either way, these will still serve the same way. When you go to a guitar store and you're going to buy something, make sure you price match. Get the model of the guitar. You literally get your phone out and you go, someone's like, hey, um, this guitar is 1800 and you're like, okay, well, what's the name of the guitar? And say it was like a Mini Maiden EM6, which is what I have. You type in Mini Maiden EM6 on Google and then you find there's like, oh, this one's on sale for like $1,400. Can you get a price close to that? And then most of the time they will do that. And if they can't do that, then you say, no problem. And then you just walk out of the store and you buy that thing online and then you're good. Then you've just saved a couple hundred dollars. Do not be afraid to stick up for yourself and save your own money. Life is... Money is hard to make right now, so do not be afraid to ask for the lower price. It's something that I struggled with a lot and definitely don't do that. Definitely be someone who advocates for themselves and buys, um, like tells them for the cheap price because you, you want to you save money, you want to spend more money, you want to take that money and put it towards setting up the guitar, buying the accessories like a capo, like the guitar stand, if you want cases and if you want straps and things like that, that's more optional if you want it. But yeah, do that. And that's pretty much all you need to do. That's the three steps. Pick the kind of guitar you want, get the accessories and make sure your guitar is set up. And third thing, feel the guitar and get a good price. And then once you've done that, you've absolutely slayed purchasing your first guitar and I hope you have a great time doing it. So if you enjoy this content, you enjoy what I do, um, I'm trying to bring as much value as to you guys as much as possible uh, for free. And um, we have a brand we have a brand new music school. Um, it's a Luan School of Music. It's on the app school. The link's in my bio. If you want to join in there, we've got a free, we're going to have a free beginner guitar course, looping course. People are requesting content all the time. We will keep updating. Um, there's a weekly Q&A. Feel free to join in. Um, and yeah, I live stream Monday through Friday. So you can catch me live 10 a.m. Uh, Australian time. And yeah. Uh, I can sing for you guys on YouTube and, and Twitch if you want to know what I'm all about. So thank you guys so much. And I hope you guys have the best time with your brand new guitar and you have, the, have a great musical career. All right, see you guys soon.